Hey guys, it's Patrick with another Saber review. So, uh, what I'm putting up for sale today is half of a Corbanth DM1 V2 Darth Maul lightsaber. And I recently put up another one of these with a Nano Biscotti V3 in it, but this one instead has a Nano Biscotti V4. And that's pretty much the only difference between that and the other one. There are some differences I have on the hilt, such as the uh, cover tech knob, and um, the placing of the activation switches differently. On the previous Saber, I had, oh, sorry, <laughs> I had both of these switches be the activation switches, but because of um, how he ignited his Saber in The Phantom Menace. Instead, this silver knob right here is the activation switch. This um this red one right here is stationary. So this is running a Tricree red red white. It is very bright. It has a eighteen six fifty lithium ion battery, nano biscotti V four, a two point one millimeter recharge port, and a twenty me uh twenty millimeter bass speaker, which is actually <laughs> very very loud I love how loud and bright the saber is it's really great um so it comes with a blade plug a kill key and a uh, a charger for the battery and so where how you take the um chassis out of this is you unscrew the top here because the um, battery and soundboard part of the chassis is up here and I put the speaker part down here because I'm using the um, Corban SID chassis from Goth3D Designs, and that comes in two pieces. And I thought this would be a good way to set it up, which is actually a really, <laughs> it's actually a really easy way to set it up. So how to um, take out the um, chassis is you just unscrew this, unscrew the um, emitter here, like so. And be careful not to loosen it too much because there are wires inside of here. And so the wires inside of here are um, coiled up in a certain way that allows them to um, still go to the LED because the LED is right in here. And it is held in place with um, this bottom screw right here. This The screw above it is for um, blade retention. It holds a 7 8 inch blade. So, I will go through the three sound fonts on here that I have. So, what I'm running is K-Sith's Vengeance, I believe, and Phantom Apprentice, and Lord Blaco's Maul Rise and Fall. I think the first font that I'm on is Vengeance. Here is my ally. Yeah, I put a custom Darth Maul boot for that. And this is a Battlefront font. I believe, and I really wanted this saber to be Battlefront inspired because I love uh, Darth Maul's saber sounds in Battlefront 2. There's the uh, red LED. It has swing sounds, 16 swings, 16 clashes, and it has a white flash on clash. Hold this down for power off. Mute mode. Let's go to the next font. At last we will reveal ourselves to the Jedi. This is Maul Rise and Fall. I think the uh, emitter's a little loose from when I screwed it back in. Really nice sound of this saber. Um, next one is Phantom Apprentice, which I love. It just came out, and it's very Battlefront-inspired. So uh, that's pretty much it. I'll um, skip to the blade review when the blade is in. Alright guys, so I just put the blade in uh, with the um, A32 retention screw that's right in here. 
And so it's very bright, so it may show up way too bright on camera, but I'm not sure. Let's just test it out. Actually, that's pretty good. Oh, the swings aren't triggering right now. It's weird. The swing settings on this, um, they're the pre-configured, well, there's the clock. The Sabre has pretty good swing and uh, clash sensitivities. Not sure why the swings aren't showing up. Hold up, let me try this. Yeah, you just have to really swing it. I like that. Yeah, but I really love the clash on this. The uh, white flash. Alright, let's switch fonts. Final font. You have to swing it back and forth, not just side to side. Like if you swing it like this, it works. And uh, the clash is on this thing. Alright, that's pretty much it. So, I'll just put this in mute mode while I talk. So, I believe this saber will be up for $375 on eBay. The link will be in the description, and uh, thanks for watching.